Here's what we're making today. It's a bamboo stock. It can be used in EV or cycles. Let's get into it. So we're going to want to add ourselves a single vertice. You can do that with the extra objects add-on that's already in Blender. Just enable it in your preferences. Then just add a skin modifier and a subdivision surface modifier. And once you've done that, you can extrude the vertices now and it'll create mesh around it. And you can use control A to scale it. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down. I will extrude it once and then press shift R three times, which will duplicate the extrusion at equal lengths. Then I will select each of the vertices and press control shift B and that will bevel it and scroll with your mouse wheel so that you get three vertices at each point. Then I will select the center vertice of each one and I'll press control A and scale them up. And that will give us this sort of rounded edge effect. Then I will press Control L and that will let me select everything. And I'll press Shift D to duplicate it, scale it down and position it right next to our stock. Then after that, I'm just going to take the vertices and move them around a little bit to give them some character and add some imperfections to the shape. Then I will take the small one with Control L again and shrink it down and repeat the process. And once I've done that, I will apply the modifiers and then I will go back in and I will flatten out the tops by lowering that top vertice, which will make it a little more tree-like. Now you can select what shading you want to use. I'm going to pick shade smooth, but later I'm going to change it to shade flat because I ended up liking that better. Now we need to add our leaves and to do that, I will just add a plane and then I will scale the plane down on the x-axis, which will give us a nice skinny piece like this. This is going to be the twig that holds the leaf and I'll just extrude it out a little bit and then I will make a larger extrusion and scale it up then extrude quite a bit out on the Y, scale it down. Then I'm gonna add a few loop cuts in the middle and scale those up so we have a fatter leaf. Now I will add a simple to form modifier and I will set it to bend. This will allow us to bend our branch. Now the rotation is gonna be a little funky. So I ended up having to rotate it sideways on the X axis, applying the rotation and then it worked properly. And then you just rotate it back to the orientation you want it to be without applying the rotation and you're set. I added a solidify mo modifier momentarily. I'm gonna end up removing this because I don't think it looks quite as good, but it is a style you can go for if you like it. I just prefer the lower poly count and I think the style with the without the solidify modifier looks a bit better. But now that you have the leaf, all you have to do is press Shift D and you can duplicate that around and place it in a few areas that you think would look nice. And then I've just placed them at the top of each stock. I'll press Shift D, I'll rotate it on the Z axis and then press Shift R multiple times till I have leaves going all the way around. Then I'll go back over them, change the scales a little bit, change the rotation, maybe even go back into edit mode and scale up the leaves just so it's a little fatter on its own. I will repeat the process for each of the stocks and then I will get into the materials. I ended up going with the green you see on your screen right now and that will be for the stock and the leaves. And then for the little ridges, I added this little yellowish color and that will hex code will also be on the screen right now for you to copy down. I turned the roughness up to a one to make the light scatter look a little better. And if you're wondering how to apply that to your ridges, all you have to do is alt select your loop with your faces and then you can hit assign in the material tab and that will give you both materials on the same object. And a quick way to add all the leaves is select everything in the scene and select your bamboo stock last. Press control L and link materials and that will link everything together giving everything the colors it should have. Now you can switch to rendered preview and you have your finished product. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.